Hello everyone and welcome to the vlog. This is Dive in Cricket and we are going for England vs Ireland test match day one vlog at Lodge also known as the home of cricket and let's get started. At the vlog from the St. Jones Wood station which is the nearest station to the Lodge cricket ground connected by the Jubilee line. Also you can take a bus as well if you want but I feel tube is the most convenient way. And from the station, the stadium is not that far away, it's just like 5 minutes walking distance. And on a game day, it's obviously busy, but you can see the staff of Lords standing there by the boats. And there are the first looks of the Lords. We are entering from the north gate, as it's mentioned on our tickets. So there are like 3 to 4 gates for to enter Lords. Mostly people enter from north gate, and the other one is Grace gate. I guess that is for members. So. In future, I'll obviously take you on a tour of Lord's Cricket Ground as well, where we can go in the stadium, like in proper dressing rooms, members stand everywhere. So that I'm going to show you. But over here, you just have to scan your tickets and they'll stop you for a little back check. And there we go. Lots. So this is like a walkway towards the ground. And on the left hand side, you can see the training ground, which is also known as the nursery ground. And obviously on an international game day you can see all these preparations, all these flags, posters. But I've been there like before as well for county games. You won't see anything like that. But from outside it looks very good. You can also buy official programs for like six pounds where everything will be written, what you can do on match days, what foods is available, what his what's the history behind these two nations. And there you can see like the nursery ground. It's all the practice area for large. And also there's an indoor cricket center as well where e I guess even local like even like people like us can go and practice for like 100 pounds you have to pay and you can practice for a day or for an hour I guess. So we go, let's go right on the stadium so we just show you tickets over here and they'll guide you a bit like where to go which seat is yours. So just show it there and there we go. So these are the staircase like my, my ticket is in the trap stand 14 and your seat number is 1110 so let's just go so these are the looks that you get so honestly i'm very excited for the game so let's just hop right into our seat so here we are on the stand 14 as it says on my seat and face 14 and that's the view you get right from behind the stand you can see the famous media end over here so let's hop right into the seat i booked two tickets one for me and one for my son but we didn't show up so there we go my seat is 1110 here we are and that's the view i'm gonna get for the whole match and as you can see if ireland has won the toss i guess i, I came in late so i didn't know who won the toss but i hope it's ireland and there we go teams coming up for national anthem So there we go guys, the national anthems are done and our teams are getting ready. Here you can see Stuart Broad, Joe Root coming. And there's one more thing which is iconic about Lords that before every start of the match, there will be a star player from England, men or women team or from any team. He'll come and ring the bell before the start of the game. So today it was Ian Morgan, the former English captain, the World Cup winners. winners. So there he is, standing right in the members stand with MCC members. The announcer will go through his stats, records, what he has done for the English cricket, who he is, and then sooner or later he'll ring the bell and the game will start.
so here we go Stuart Broad starting from the pavilion end it's the first ball of the match And as you can see, English supporter came in numbers. I feel more like this is a practice for Ashes. So let's just hop and enjoy the views. So this was given out on the field, but it turned out to be not out. At as soon as the replay went on to the screen and I must say the English crowd is very knowledgeable they have a lot of knowledge as soon as the replay was on the screen they said ah oh, it's missing leg and there we go the review turned out to be in Ireland's favour and Paul Sterling stays on the ground but Stuart Broad was on a complete fire he was not like giving any edge to Irish batsmen he kept on taking wickets and this is the one where Jack Crawley took a stunning catch towards his left. There you can see the last ball before the lunch, Matthew Potts bowling from the media end and I guess Ireland were like 70 or 80 for 4 down. So English ball has completely destroyed them and that's it there you can see that's the stroke of lunch. And there we go in the lunch time you can see the kids coming on the ground and in most of the English rounds kids get to play like so that it boosts their confidence and there you can see the media team like the sky sports team preparing for their mid show you can see isha gua in the background like it's michael vaughan is there and one of my favorite batsmen lester cook is there as well and you can see how does it works like all the team preparing for the stuff you can see that's lester cook In the meantime, we we'll take you around the ground. Like, what is this? As you can see the scenes are completely changed at the moment. This was like at the start of the day, there was completely empty the nursery training ground, and now you can see people are all over. People use it as a picnic spot as well. Like, you come with your family, you can enjoy the day, just sit in the sun, have a cup of coffee, and also you can see there's like a lot of stores where you can buy stuff. This is like official shop for lots stadium you can buy t-shirts for Middlesex because that's a Middlesex home ground and you can see the stadium is like completely packed at the moment as you can see and there are some like events as well that goes on like junior kids from junior cricket they get awards as well and there we go we are at the father times wall this is known as the father time wall where all the great wins all over the cricketing history has been mentioned especially the English cricket you can see this is like England winning 2019 World Cup and even you can engrave your name over here you just have to spend some like thousand bucks and you can get your name on this father type wall but you have to be a member of the MCC then only you can do so and this you can see the women's World Cup and now we'll walk around the, under the grandstand you can see that's it's clearly mentioned C grandstand it's a nice view from there as well it will take you someday on a tour and you can see that's you can go upstairs there's a member stands as well over there so all in all it's a pretty good vibe if you come to the ground and i'll take you in the grandstand as well there we go you can see the iconic long room the lo the lo and right before the long room you can see all this food courts and a cricketing store as well gray nickels they sell bats and a lot of stuff over here even you can come here and you can make your own bats as well they'll they'll just customize for you on the spot
and there you can see we'll straight away head towards the long room and on my right hand side it's a garden which is for members only even not on the match days members can come and sit and relax over here and i'll just take you straight towards the long room and there we and there we are right in front of the long room this is the place exactly where all players all members and everyone enters in in the pavilion So this is all about the pavilion and on the right hand side you can see a member shop as well where you can buy uh, like ties, bows and hat for the members only. You can, As you can see it's written over there Middlesex County as well. So this is the view that you get from the pavilion building. I obviously can't go in as I'm not a member of that but the view views are completely like stunning so I'll take you straight away back to the ground as it's the lunch is already over and i'm late for the match and there's one more wicket i've fallen down Stuart broad has taken it this is you can see this bar over here you can get drinks and even watch cricket over here so let's move right back to the sea so you can see Stuart broad bowling let's see how it goes and the moment i came in joe root has dropped a catch it was a tough one but that was a regulation one and you can see the Irish fan happy for that But the catch didn't cost them much as Stuart Broad and Matthew Pods all bowled pretty well and wrapped them up Really quickly and I guess it was 172 where Alan got all out and now let's wait for the English to back And in the meantime, you can see the warm-ups going on and the wickets are being rolled And in few time, there'll be England batting over here Swingle was bedding beautifully, Crawley and Ben Deckett was like just smashing all around the park as you can see. They only lost I guess a wicket and that was Jack Crawley they lost. But all in all they batted pretty well, both of them they scored 100 on stand. The side, so you expect them to play well in these kind of conditions, it's their home turf as well. And uh, Duckett scored a double hundred and uh, Jack Crawley scored a 50 I guess and the one wicket the loss was taken by the bowler named Hand and that was Jack Crawley with the stunning catch you can see he fumbled it but then he grabbed it then one down it was Uli Pope who came to bat. I was expecting Root to come in because I really wanted to see Root bat but it was only Pope. So all in all they batted pretty well. It was completely England's day so we decided to go out early and I thought I can, can show you the store as well the MCC store where you can buy stuff as well. So you can see you can buy Middlesex County shirts, sunglasses, even like hats and a lot of stuff. So so that's it for the day guys hope you liked it and there's one more thing lined up for you which is known as cinematic corner where i put all the good shots from the match so bye thank you